Hello ladies and gents, welcome back. We are looking at luggage, we are looking at backpacks today. We are looking at a partnership between Krieger and Revit. We have a host of new bags with us, ranging from the Arid, which we have in the studio with me right now. This is the smallest and one of the more technical bags within that range. This has a capacity of nine liters. You have the Stack, which is slightly bigger than this at 15 liters. You've got the Baron at 18 liters, which shares a lot of similarities with this bag. And then you've got the Load, which is the largest in capacity at 22 liters. All of them are fantastic, all of them are trustworthy luggage options, but it really will depend on your specific needs and usage. You wanna think about the capacity, what you might need from your bag. As I mentioned, this is the smallest of them. It has a capacity of nine liters. It comes in at 169 pounds 99, so it's also the most affordable of the range. And it has a certain amount of technicality to it. Now, if I was picking this one, I don't think this would be my option if I was commuting and I'm looking for a dedicated commuter bag. This for me is more used, and in terms of their marketing actually, for adventure riding, shorter trips. If you want a bigger trip and you're gonna do some camping, maybe you'll wanna look at the Baron, but this definitely is more designed for that. Let's break down a couple of the features then, starting with the capacity and the main body of the bag. So it has a nine litre capacity, but that's split between two main compartments. You have the front compartment there, which is actually listed more as your main pocket. That has a capacity of four litres. So it's actually the smaller of the two, but it has a fully waterproof membrane or liner, which is removable if you want to take that out. And it's white in color, which is fantastic because you can see everything in the bottom of it. It makes it a lot easier to find what you need to in the bottom of your bag. As I say, this has a capacity of four liters, so it's ever so slightly smaller than the rear pocket, which has a zip closure. That has a capacity of five liters, and if I just open it up, you will also see it has a Velcro loop, which is for attaching a hydration pack if you want to include that. If you are doing some off-roading, some adventure riding, that might be a useful thing to bring with you. It is actually surprisingly large. Uh, so like I say, it's only nine liters, it's not huge, and I did not think it would be able to fit my laptop, but for reference, if in a pinch you need to bring something like this with you, I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro and it does fit in there, albeit snugly, but it will actually fit a laptop. As I say, it wouldn't be my preferred choice for dedicated commuting, but it is still useful to know. The other option for storage is this Hyperlon net on the front. So this, you've got the drawstring on there, as you can see, you can tighten that down. That will tighten the bag down and cinch it up quite nicely. But it's also quite useful because you can stick or stuff clothing in there. If you've been out riding and you've got some of your clothing wet and you need it to dry off, if you are doing a camping trip or something like that, you can stuff it in there. It's designed so that as you get the airflow running over your back and around your body, it will help dry out your wet clothing. It's also something you will see on other bags from Krieger. Now, one of the other big benefits of partnering with Krieger is that you get their expertise when it comes to the comfort of the bag and how it holds itself on your chest and shoulders. You've got these thick straps, which go around to the body of the bag. You've got an air mesh back on it as well, so it lifts itself ever so slightly prouder of your back to allow some airflow and venting through, making it more comfortable. You can see these chunkier straps, they are quite nice and padded. And then you've got the quad lock light closure system on the front that straps across your chest and helps hold that weight on your chest less so on your shoulders, so it is more comfortable. It's something you will also see in the other three bags in this range, just a slightly bigger version of it. And you've got reflectors on your chest, you have the logos of Krieger and Revit, and lastly, a strap around your waist so you can hold that more securely on yourself. That is removable if you want to take them off, obviously you can do that. And the toggles on the end there strap on using these plastic fasteners which stop them flapping around and makes it more secure and less irritating. Now I hope that's enough information for you to make an informed decision on which bag might work best for you. They're all fantastic, it really just comes down to your specific requirements and your specific usage. I'll drop all the links in the description if you want to check out any of these bags for yourself. Leave your questions and comments if you want to and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye bye.